There's no question as we approach the site of the Lathbury complex that in a few months' time this will be an exciting addition to Gibraltar's collection of sports facilities. However, the countdown to the games will very soon be measured in hours rather than days and a first impression suggests that plenty remains to be done here. Lathbury is still currently an active construction site. After the tour, I asked Minister Linares if work was still on schedule and whether they would, as he told us a fortnight ago, be fit for the purpose of the games. Absolutely. I'm, I, was, I was always confident that they will finish. A lot of hard work has gone into it. I can tell you, and I would like to publicly thank the workers of GJBS and to thank all the people there who have really, really put put themselves out. They've been working really hard around the clock. And yes, yeah, of course it is. It's all ready for the games. There's a couple of days left, perhaps, to add a lick of paint here and there. What exactly remains to be done between now and the opening ceremony? Well, all, all the venues are ready, except one, which is Lathbury. But Lathbury will be ready. As we speak, Lathbury, all it needs is the painting of the lines of the track. And it's, mo most of it is already done. There is a team up there who are painting the lines. The pool is up and running. There are already teams training in them. So ba basically, I would say 100% by tomorrow, we will have all the menus ready. And as you've mentioned there, it's a case of being ready for the games rather than being fully complete. Works will continue afterwards. So to, just to clarify, the, uh, what temporary provisions are being made at Lathbury, for example, in terms of the plumbing, the, the shower facilities, are these ready for athletes? Are these ready for the public? Or what alternatives have, are plans have been made? Everything will be ready for everyone. That means for the athletes and the public. We had to take a decision way back in May whether the toilets and the shower rooms for Lathbury were going to be ready. We took the decision and the contractors were saying, well, it's very, very close, very, very dangerous or it's risky to start now and then have it half ready. People would have criticized me no end because it would not have been finished. So therefore the decision in that venue only, because as you can see, all the other venues have been made ready so in that venue only we took the decision way back and it was not an issue because we brought in porter cabins in order to and, and, and if you we consulted the g3as we consulted the gasa and we brought them in and they said look we wherever we go there are porter cabins if anybody has gone to any other games there are porter cabins there are porter loos of course, because there's an increase of people coming in and they're public and therefore you put provision for that. While they're certainly cutting things fine in terms of preparation, the minister points to the fact that these facilities are far and beyond what the majority of other islands have offered. Time will tell if his plans for them to be the centre of Gibraltar's sports tourism industry are viable. In the meantime, Minister Linares reiterated that the focus should be on supporting our athletes and getting behind the games, which he hopes Gibraltar will do.